My name is Layla Nora and we are on JBTV. You gotta get some like, what is it? JBT? Gotta be like swagged out, you know what I mean? What I'm up to right now, music wise, is um, my birthday is coming up in August, uh, August 30th. And my goal is to be global by my birthday. So I'm spreading my music as far and as wide as possible. Um, just pushed out my first music video, working on the next one with Jameson Bethe from JBTV. And um, also getting my website off the ground, which is going to be whoislaylanor.com. It's going to be sexy as hell. Um, well, because um, I didn't want anybody else to sing my songs. Because I figured they wouldn't like, feel it or understand it the way I wanted it to be. So I started playing guitar, and it was probably maybe like a month after that, I was like, man, I just have to sing my own stuff. That's when I started seeing. <laughs> He's supposed to have the questions out already. He's laughing. <laughs> well, let's see. Uh, from Brooklyn, New York. I um, live in Long Island also. And, um, well, I was, I was actually raised around Islamic music, like listening to like Nasheed and stuff like that. Um, a lot of uh, foreign music, or, like instrumentals. My father used to listen to like country and rock, and like my brothers would listen to rap and R&B. So there was like always a wide variety of musical tastes and stuff like that in the house. And I started listening personally to classical music when I was probably like 12 or 13, and that was such a beautiful thing. So, I mean, I don't know. Um, my background is extremely diverse, and so I feel like my music tastes are also extremely diverse because of that. What did my family do to encourage me? Um, absolutely nothing. My family does not support the fact that I am a female singing and playing music and being bold and gay and all that. So, um, my little sisters, though, I do. Some some of my siblings, you know, secretly in the closet, are like fans and like my music and know my lyrics, but they can't be open about that business, unfortunately. But hopefully, it just puts it on blast. Bow. A random fact that nobody knows about me. Um, um, a random fact that nobody knows about me. <laughs> well, I used to be afraid of the dark really bad. And I always used to be afraid of heights. I'm just a scaredy cat. Um, and so in being a scaredy cat, um, I try to face my fears a lot. And so I put myself in high, dark places. And I used to be scared of like people and stuff. I used to be very like, People would talk to me and I'd be like, oh God, awkward and everything. So I just put myself in those situations <laughs> all the time. It just comes the way it comes. It's re that's really hard to say because sometimes I'll like, I'll just be playing around and jamming and I'll like come up with the licks first. Or sometimes I'll have set lyrics in my mind and I'm like, oh man. Or sometimes, like, something specific will happen and it'll inspire me, and I'll hear the song in my head before I even write it. And that's probably one of the most creepiest ways that I'm inspired. It's like, just walking around doing stuff, and I'm just like, oh, man. And all of a sudden, I hear the song, and I'm like, oh, man, I gotta write that. So, that's probably the best. <laughs> um, well, I would have to say, right now, it's mine. Maybe that's obnoxious, but I like my music. Um, and it's from one of my more recent songs um, is called The Untitled Song and it's the very first line um, you are only as tall as you think you are and equally small oh he bumping <laughs> um, so that, that line to me is the most important because it's all about like you're as amazing, as intelligent, as attractive as brilliant and as beautiful as you think you are and also as dumb and stupid and ugly and blah, 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 you know, as you think you are. So it's all about mentality, you know? When I walk out, I just tell myself, like, man, Lily, you are, like, the shit and a half, you know? And I don't always convince myself this. <laughs> sometimes I feel it, sometimes I don't, so. But I feel like it's all about, like, it's all about how you feel you are, you know?
I'd say Alanis Morissette, John Mayer, Jimi Hendrix, um, man, I don't know, because I listen to, like, a lot of instrumentals, I listen to a lot of, like, local bands, I'm my biggest inspiration, and then, and then those other artists. Music is my main obligation. That's pretty much. It. I mean, you know, I still work because it helps to like fund the music. And stuff. Come on, sir. It helps to like fund the music and stuff. Um, but yeah, like music. Music is like my spirituality. It's my belief. It's it's, it's my energy and like all that stuff. So pretty much my life revolves around my music. Music keeps me balanced. All that good shit. I listen to a lot of uh, local stuff. I listen to a lot of old, like 70s, 80s, like soul, and, uh, rock. Ah. <laughs> uh. Plenty. Uh, embarrassing. So. Uh, I don't know. I hate. I hate to call an artist out like that. Like your song sucks. I'm embarrassed to like it. <laughs> but I mean, uh, maybe hold me now. Hold me now. I'm all about that song. I don't know. I don't know who sings it. But that's probably one of my more embarrassing jams. Like when it comes on the radio, like. <laughs> I'll be getting it in there. <laughs> Celebrity crushes. Oh, yes. Rosario Dawson. All day. All day, every day. A John Mayer is like my straight board crush. I totally love John Mayer. Like, oh, I love when you like from a distance, but don't have to you know, like that. You like, that. like Rosario Dawson. Man, I've been giving a, giving a lot of really good advice. Um, <laughs> um, maybe it was my teacher who told me, uh, whether you think you can or you can't, you're right. I felt like that was that was amazing advice, and so um, I've lived by that. But also, also one thing, uh, piece of advice that I was given. Or maybe I came up with this. Never mind. We'll skip that out. Then. <laughs> it was um, the opposite of right isn't wrong. It's left. As a matter of fact, it's a matter of opinion. I remember reading that, but I think I wrote it. I think I remember reading it like in my own line of stuff. But that I've that's that and the other quote has always been two things that have always been in my mind. You know, truth is. You know, um, I feel like the only thing that's true is truth and that anything else outside of that is uh, subjective, so I run by that. Just being like, hey, you know, whatever, it's cool. Jameson is the shit. Look out for me, I'm about to blow up. JB?